tree like this. This is. So. Oh. Okay, it seems pretty dry. Get the wait, get the inside of this for you. It's. It's good. It'll do. That piece is not good. You have to be very good, um, specific with picking wood. You get the wrong couple pieces. The fire will smolder, put too much smoke, and I'll just suffocate your fire eventually. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the sound here, guys. Found a big root from a tree that fell. All the wood is just dead. Beautiful. These are the things that you want to find. I'm only going to get the stuff that comes off easily. Because it'll mean it's more dead. And that's what you want. Oh, that's such a good piece. That's a good sound right there, guys. It means that it's like not really wet. It's pretty dry in there. But it's going to burn pretty well. So Wait a second. Let's go. Okay. Ah. Huh. I got. It's actually pretty damp this wood, but probably some of the dry stuff we're gonna find in a day like today. So I'm gonna. Well, I'll leave more wood because I only have this much. I'm not trying to have a giant fire. I just want to warm up with body. I need to get some smaller tinder now. Okay. Hey, cameraman. I can use film. I need both my hands for this part. I'm just gonna... So I need some stuff for tinder. That my hunting knife here. There you go like that, and then go this way. Break that apart and use that for some early fire fire stones. Okay, so earlier on I got the bridge and I'm just breaking the apart now. Knife is something you need to survival. The reason we're using a knife is because plants have a little spikes at the tip, so uh, I think that'll be good for now. What else do I need? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll get a couple of these. <laughs> yeah. Stuff crackles because it looks it is live, but these pine things crackles beautiful. Okay, this is my. Oh, he flew away. Okay, this is my knife that I carry on me. And I attach to the back. Keep my Swedish fire steel. So, light my fire. Very good brand. Okay, got your Swedish fire steel. No. And you can use both bulk. For, um, to, for Tinder to get your fire going, but I like to have a little bit of cotton with me. It always helps. My cotton, I keep this in my pocket. The 5 in 1 survival necklace. Wait, I've showed you this in my basic survival video. In the top. Keep a little bit of cotton. Just in case we get it from at home. Which today. Put in. Okay. I'm gonna rain hat it right on right now because it's really a couple minutes. So the things I'm using, the tools I'll be using. Wait, I got can you stop it? What's my knife? Oh. 
we'll use this. <coughs> okay. So I'm not gonna dig a fire pit today because it's all wet soil. We're not planning on having a big fire. So what I have with me? My knife and a cube of fire stuff so, uh the fire like the wet the wet tinder stuff. This is the dollar store stuff. I tried it. I have the wet fire tinder, I did a review of you. But let's try this how I tried it. I've tried it before, we just shaves it off, you know. So my voice is really doing you know, I'm sick right now, so I'm stuffy. Probably not the best idea to go to the woods on a cold day. A uh, cold wet day, but okay, that's the cotton. I'll use cotton anyways. Even though I have that fuel. So, we'll just strike this stuff. So I flip, then I'll just add stuff quickly. Okay. Pop it out way. <coughs> when you do it, you want to hold it like this. You want to move it away like that. So. Do it. I'm just gonna do it. There we go. There we go. Just trying to get it a little closer to me. Wasted quite a few strikes though. Hold it above just so it doesn't fall. There. There we go. Put it with the wet soil. Pull the other side. Right. See that? So it's all you, it crackles. So it runs like fire or something. Down. Okay. This is the fire now. Told you it would have when you do that stuff, you just have to keep blowing on it. Keep it good. Oh, feels good. Feels good in the hands. Look at smoke you put out. Kind of bad because you don't find it properly. Well, it'll thin way out before it gets over the tree line. You might smell it at the nearby, but oh, that's all we need. Just to get a little so fire. fire cube. Think so. Fire. Oh, hopefully I'm just going to keep smoking the food to heat without not even be flaming, just so it can walk about it. Yeah, as you can see the smoke. Oh, it's because the wind. It it leaves pretty fast. It's a gas. It's a gas now. So uh, it just spreads out. Probably goes way out. So it's oxygen spreads way way out. Yeah, it's still working now. We got a fire going. Oh. Okay, the fire still has some good coals in there. Uh, it's getting close to lunch time, so I'm going to make up some chicken noodle soup. The reason I didn't do it on the fire is I was just small enough to get warmed up. I have my, I'm going to do the stove. My trusty stove, you know, try to, trusty stove, fuel cubes. Got a small pot with me. And then a cup of soup. Chicken noodle, I think. Yeah, it's chicken noodle. It's only kind of like. <laughs> then a water bottle for some water to boil. Okay, so this is what the stove looks like when it's opened up. You, know, you unfold it, just like that. <coughs> Putting over a piece of boat boat because the ground's wet. And then, you go like this. Put your pot over. Boil some water with some ch chicken noodle soup mix. You got some chow. Over there. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's not quite boiling yet, it's been cooking for a while. And I used a fuel cube for like this. And I used some birch bark as well. So together it'll be to make a mean combination and get this done pretty fast. I'll show you the every so often I use my light my fire spork to just like stir it. Ah, it's hot. That's, it should be boiling soon. It's not quite boiling yet. <laughs> but it's good, it's nice. It'll be a nice treat after a day of working in the cold woods. Not much, as you can see. It's one of the it's like how many grams? It's it's a cup of soup. It's so it's Oh the tree just came down. But well, it'll just cut it down. So it's not much. It's just like a snack kind of thing. It's not much for two people, but it's good. Holy crap! That's a good, good amount of pie. That's nice. Okay, so here's the finished product. A nice wholesome cup of chicken noodle soup. Right now it's too hot to eat. We're gonna let it cool down a bit, cause just so it's a perfect temperature, cause it's cold and we don't want to drink anything too hot. And he probably heard me shivering right, with my voice. And the stove turned out to be a pretty awesome stove. Chode because the, uh, the, uh, birch bark, it's hard to think right now, I'm cold. Uh, the birch bark kind of uh, charmed up. Same with the bottom of this pot. You can see. So it's. But it's good. You wash that stuff when you get home, and if you survive, you don't care if it's black or not. Okay, so as you can see, the wall is coming along really nice. Alex is leaving the food, and I've been doing the fire and making the food. I got the better job. <laughs> His job is a lot harder and took a lot more work. Now we just have to just pass one wall down. We got. Oh, sorry. We still gotta do. This whole section right here, that whole section. So we got one wall done. It's good. I. Yeah. Let's do cross beams on this one because you can see, like for this, it's like that. But for inside here, it's like that. So we need something to weave it through. So we need some cross beams. So this board will be a while of making it, but it'll be a nice end. Product.